be a celebration tonight featuring entertainment from all over the state. And we're going to be talking more about the celebration throughout the next hour, but I want to bring in our political analyst, John Keller, right now. John, she touched on it in her speech. Yes, this is a day of celebration and a promise, but Governor Healy faces some real challenges. Yeah, she certainly does, Lisa. At one point in her speech today, the new governor said, quote, we will match our ambitions with our investments, end quote. And among the ambitions laid out in her speech were a dramatic expansion of child care, a thousand new MBTA hires, and a huge new budget commitment to energy and the environment. That's just to name a few of the agenda items she enumerated. So you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars at least for all or at least many of these ideas and the question is as always how are you going to pay for it now we're flush with federal cash right now but a lot of it is already spoken for and lisa the rest will go fast there's no question about that, John, although she did mention that Massachusetts will, in a much more aggressive way, go after federal grants. So we'll see if some of that federal money, more of it, comes back to Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to ask, too, on a day like this in which the governor is spelling out a, a wish list and talking about all of the things that she aims to do, um, you know, we have to accept the reality, and that is that governors don't always get what they want, even when the legislature uh, is made up mostly of their party members. How many times have we seen that? We saw it under Deval Patrick. And as we saw just right. last year, Lisa, even when you have plenty of money, there's this co-equal branch of government called the legislature that doesn't always agree on how to spend it. For instance, today, I noticed Senate President Karen Spilka, who wants community college made free for all, didn't join in the applause when Healy called for free college just for adults over 25. Now, the new governor claimed House Speaker Ron Mariano shared her tax reform goals. But remember, he was the one who backed away from many of those same tax cuts last summer. Now, both of those leaders endorsed Healy and appear to like her, but they will not automatically give in to her when their agendas differ. Uh, you know, these are the same challenges that face any new governor. Lisa, how Healy deals with them, that'll dictate her future success, just as it did with her predecessors.